Hey, it's Alan from YourWeddingHub.com. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful day in our city here on the West Coast. Uh, I want to, it's Friday, so that means it's time for the wedding story of the week. Now, the story I want to tell you about today involved a bride and a groom. That's pretty logical. It usually does. Well, here in Vancouver, it can sometimes involve a groom and a groom or a bride and a bride, but that's another story. Uh, but it involved a groom and a bride. The groom was of the Jewish faith and the bride was... Um, uh, of a Christian denomination and so when we met together we had to kind of you know bring all those dynamics together make it work for everyone and uh, on the day of the wedding I was just about to leave home had my at that time I did uh, a lot of the ceremonies wearing a robe headed over my arm had my suit jacket on my other hand I'm cruising to the door and I realized I forgot something so I hung my suit jacket on the knob went back to to get whatever it was I forgot and uh, headed out to my vehicle and when I got to the golfing country club, I jumped out of my vehicle, put the robe on. Well, this robe had two big honking crosses right on the front of it. Not really cool for people of the Jewish faith. And so I am um, cruising down to where the groom and his entourage were. And this guy's just staring at my chest with this horrified look on his face. That's all he had to do. It all came back to me very quickly and made me realize what, uh, what adult that guy is in the car. <laughs> no, just joking. The guy's really cool. But anyway... Um, <laughs> Sorry, sorry for that interruption. So I realized, and I, I said to Rob, Rob, my, my suit jacket is in the van. I'm going to go back and, and uh, I'll just, I'll be 90 seconds, I'll be right back. So I went back to my vehicle and you know what? The suit jacket was still hanging on the knob at home. And I freaked out, I thought, oh Lord, what do I do? So I went back and I told Rob the dilemma and he said, you know what, just go ahead and wear the robe. I said, no way, Rob, I'm not going to do that. I don't want that being your family's memory of your wedding day, that they're sitting in the front row all offended. And so I said to the best man, the crowd that are waiting for the ceremony to begin are all down there. It was a mostly stand-up garden wedding. I said, so go cruising down through the crowd. See if you can find someone that's got a suit jacket that, you know, that would fit me. So this guy went down, and the best man came back with both arms loaded with jackets. First one I put on, I looked like Godzilla. The sleeves hung down to here and yeah, next. So I took that one off. We went through this whole pile, finally found one that fit me pretty well. Nice navy jacket with brass buttons on it. And uh, I said, cool. So he took the jackets back and uh, everybody got back into the jacket. It was a bit of a, you know, a wee bit of an interruption. So we're all lined up ready to start. And the moms are supposed to walk down the path together and they were going to light unity candles. Well. Uh, we sent them on their way and, and uh, I was kind of waiting, you know, sort of looking off in the distance to see when they had done their thing and were seated. And then I would led the guys in and we're walking down the path and I'm looking into this gazebo where the unity candles were supposed to be positioned and uh, there were no candles there. The wedding planner, ladies and guys, had forgotten to put the candles out. So the moms walked down and they kind of shrugged and took their seats. And um, so when it came to the time in the ceremony, where we were going to have the lighting of the unity candle, I just said, uh, you know, I, you know, in different faiths and traditions that there are different symbols that we use. Like in some cases, uh, there are unity candles. And as you can see on the table behind me, we don't have any unity candles. And the bride, she was really of the right kind of personality for me to do that because she just kind of laughed and sort of shrugged it off. But I said, we do have a, uh, a glass. And in the Jewish faith, at the end of the ceremony, just before I introduce the bride and groom, I'm going to introduce them as husband and wife. And you're all going to yell, Mazel Tov. And he's going to break this glass. We wrapped it all up in a nice linen. They had gone out to the local dollar store and bought a nice wine glass for this event. And um, when he crushed this thing, he kind of caught it sideways the stem of it kicked up and hit this poor guy in the ankle he's wincing in pain from this didn't do any bodily damage but he was in a, pain, a little bit of pain for a moment and um, and then they you know carried off down the path they all lined up for a receiving line and they're getting ready to uh, you know to greet everyone and uh, I found the guy that uh, needed his jacket back gave it to him watched him get in his car and drive out of the parking lot and about that time, the photographer came running up to me and he said, Alan, you're never going to believe this. He was shooting with film back in, you know, three or four years ago. I just exposed all of the film from the ceremony. 
And you're probably thinking, well, what else could go wrong in this ceremony? So I had to, you know, so we decided, okay, we're going to position ourselves so we can catch some of those key shots. So I had to go through the crowd, and I found some 13-year-old kid that, now I know on film, I look like I'm a big guy, but I'm not really that huge. found this 13-year-old kid that had a, no brass buttons, did happen to be Navy, three button, the old one was, you know, everything about this wedding. But the funny thing was, Brian Groom said to me afterward, Alan, Everybody was talking about what an awesome ceremony we had, an awesome wedding. So it just tells you that even though sometimes things can go a little bit sideways, just make the best of it and, and it, it will be a day that you'll get to look back on and, and have a lot of awesome memories about. Thank you for letting me share the story with you. Check out next Friday because every Friday is the wedding story of the week. Thank you for joining me for this one. Uh, check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and come back next week to yourweddinghub.com. Have a good one.